Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to BWTM Sports Gaming. For tonight, for today, we have a very special show, um, a tribute show to a very special individual, the late Tony Burns MBE. I have with me in the room as well, Tony Cisse, who will be doing the tribute. So without further ado, let's get the show started. So in the room with me, I have my good friend, Tony Cissé. Tony, how are you doing? Oh, 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 you're on mute. You're on mute. Let's try now. How are you doing, Tony? Uh, I'm blessed, my man. I'm blessed. Uh, how have you been? You've been good? Oh, you know, you know how the lockdown is. You know how it is. Uh, oh, you've got to make sure you get everything in you, every bit of nutrients in that body, and it fights that. Uh, well, it fights it. It fights it. Absolutely. Yeah. Boost the old immune system. Oh, yeah. And stay strong. Stay strong all day long, every day. Absolutely. Day. Physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Oh, yeah. You have to be. Because what's happening now, they're testing us all. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a big, big test for us. And it's only going to get, you know, it's only going to get worse. <laughs> In the sense of, you know... Us staying at home, you know, not doing. We've got to get used to this sort of way of living, you know. And uh, yeah. it, 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 we'll, we'll come through it. But uh, this is what we've got to get used to. We've got to get we used to, to a, a new normal. They call it a new normal. It is. It's it definitely is. It's mad, it's mad. mad. But, so, um, so how are you coping in terms of the boxing side of things? Ah, the boxing side of things. It's 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 um it's hard, but. I, I get to bring one or two, of the, you know, do my one-to-ones. Um, I get to, you know, just get to run them in the park, you know, do the stuff like that, you know, where you can. So you can only do one at a time now, you know. You know, people are just grass you up now, you know. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they will. People they will. Grass, people are grass you up. It's unbelievable. It's society we're in. The society we're in today. It's 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 it's. it's I've got everybody running scared. And uh, but you know what? I, I said this. People say to me, "Ah, oh, you know, I've seen people that change since the lockdown." It's not people have changed. They always were like that, but now they've got an ability to express how they really felt about you all these years. That's what it is. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, it's it's. It's, it's they're bringing it out because you, you, you're stuck indoors. You ain't got, you ain't can't express yourself anymore. And the only way you can express yourself is by telling the truth, <laughs> telling what's inside you. If you really are painfully hurt, then you just say it now. You don't really hold around and beat around the bush. Yeah, it's you're right. There. It's, it's out you're there. Right. It's out there. Yep, you're you right. Know? Yeah, and, it, and, and it's been told by you know this thing with um. This uh, killing hand story, you know these. Uh, yes, this, uh, it's been told because all of a sudden they're, they're saying that this guy is a bad guy now. All of a sudden they're saying, you know, his family is this. Uh, now, if this brand was so bad, why wouldn't he be in prison? Why isn't he in prison? Why isn't he not got the court once? Why isn't he? now? I don't know the man. I don't even know the man. But what I'm just trying to say is that. You're killing someone's way of life. You're killing the, if you like something in, in that you like sport that much, and that's what I feel because the people that I've uh, that I've talked to who know him, he loves boxing that much that he's prepared to put money in, play, do things. But where... the, the thing is that gets me about this is that I know for an absolute fact. Right, there are promoters, top promoters, that there's some fighters that the promoters would have nothing to do with, right? And then yes. he'd come along and help those fighters out. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And they don't like that. They don't like that. They don't they, they don't like that. They like to be wrong and strong. They don't like to see somebody else come along and do what they couldn't do or do what they didn't want to do and prove them wrong. They don't like that. 
Yeah, they don't well, like that. Well, well, they don't like it, but at the end of the day, he's he's making moves, isn't he? He's yes. he, he's creating things. He's doing things because of the love of what he loves and what he does. Because why? I, why what, what 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 makes me feel very, you know, um, patriotic about people who come out from the wilderness, people who come out from the the bottom of the gutter, you yeah. know, and and make it for themselves. Because I did that myself. Uh, you know, I have a past, and yep. you know, we all have past. Even, we even, have even, past. Even, 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 even those government people now, you know, who 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 are in trains and whips, and they have a past. You know what I mean? And they're the same people who are, are gunning down people. Look, gunning us down, as in the, you know, as a society, and telling us what to do. They want that control. And that's why I see, I, I feel that they need to control these, this family, you know, or this person or this individual. And that's all I see. I see a Robin Hood story, a, a man which is taking himself from, from, from wherever he's taken himself out of, dragged himself out of, and now and then, you know, made other people. Because all I ever see is... The people that he's made a better life for. I wish he would have made a life for me. Come and, you know, give me all the money to open up a gym. And, because I, I needed people like that. When you live in the, a community like this, you need people like that. That's how I've survived. I've survived through people who have s s known what I do in the community and said, Tone, help that boy. I want to help that boy. That boy there, I've seen it. And they'll give you a couple of hundred pounds or they'll give you a grand. You know, this is how I survive through people like that. Now, whatever they do in the, what they like to do, I, I, we, you know, we, 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 we live in a, an area where you, you don't say nothing. You don't, you don't ask where the, if it's come off the back of a lorry, you don't, you don't ask. ask them. You don't you ask. Don't ask. No, you, you don't. don't. You don't. You know, and you never grass up. You keep your mouth shut. You're shut. You keep your mouth shut, or the or else is else. You know what I mean? You, this is yeah. where we live. This is where yeah. we we don't live in the suburbs where there's cricket and and and, and rugby. You know, it's, co it's, it's it's codes, isn't it? It's just codes. It's isn't a code, it? yeah. And, and so so for when but for what I see, I don't know this family. You know, yeah. I don't know this family. But all I know that they're picking on somebody. It could have been me. Me helping these kids out in the community where I like to do. I like to spend my own money. You know, get that boy, get that boy, pick him up, see him on the road. I said, listen, you know, come and do this. Come and do this sport. This my sport is the best sport in the world. It will get you fit and it will make you meet people you've never ever met before in your life. Because yeah. that's what happened to me. And I was the worst kid on this planet. You know what I mean? I, I'm yeah. telling you, you know, so it, 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 it's, 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 it's dreams and, you know, and this guy now has obviously made himself a success, you know, and you've got to remember as well that these people in this game, they've all got the past. They've all had a past. They've all been in, you know, been talking to villains. Boxing has been a villainized sport for, since it started. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice ball. We we go into boxing arenas and you see the the most you know people that you're notorious people you've ever seen in your life sitting there you know in the front seat sitting there with the promoters and come on they've been there for years and years and years and, and it's not gonna know it. and it's not gonna stop it's not gonna stop it's not gonna stop I mean, can you stop this man from helping other people in the community. It's like telling me I have to stop doing what I love. I, I, I love going, grabbing them kids and say, listen, and telling them about my story, telling them about the person who saved me, Mr. Tony Burns. You know, I can't Learn. believe it. We'll talk about Tony Burns in a moment. Um, another thing that I'd really like to talk to you about is Daniel Dubois. Daniel Dubois. What's happening? I don't, what's happened to him? I understand he's going to Tibbs. Or could, we, could we go into Tibbs now? Mark Tibbs? Could we get trained by Mark Tibbs now? Wow. That's, that's what that's, I heard. That's, that is, but... that's news to me too. Oh, my word. I can't believe it. So he's jumped ship. He's jumped that's ship. That's what it sounds wow. like. Wow. 
But having, I mean, having said them boys, them boys did that. Listen, them boys had him. You know the 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 the, 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 the bow above the peacock gym. It felt it was it was like a family for him there. They looked after him. They they bent over. You know, like you'd never ever know that they did things for him that no one else would ever do. So let's see what you know the other people can bring for him. Mark's a nice man, nice trainer. So see if it works for him there. You know, but I, these guys I know him personally. You know, and uh, and I know Mark personally. So whatever. You know, Dubois feels that he can gain and couldn't gain from them. It's 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 going to be mad, but okay. I think I think he should have just stuck where he was and you know and uh, and uh, gone through it. It's all about experience, you know. For me, Joyce had the experience. That was I all. That. They push. They push. They push. And I said that. I said, but they yeah. pushed him too quick. I remember when we used to talk about this. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I said I, myself. I said, I said to you, he's just been pushed. He's a young kid, and he's not a kid that you know. Um, how would you say went to school with everybody and did things with everything, goes out and he's he's a different kind of you know cloth. He's a different kind of cloth. So you have to explain things to him in a different in a different way. And how you explain to it to him, he has to. He has to get it, you know, and he, and he's a clever kid. He know, seems but he's a different he seemed, kid, though. He seemed when I looked at him and Joyce, it looked like boy versus man. Even when it he was, was talking, it was, it was, of course, it is. That's what I'm and trying it, to say. And, to and, you. He, and he didn't seem, he didn't seem, even when he was answering questions in like either press conferences or when they were doing the head to heads, it sounded like a boy reading from a script to a man it, who it, was. It, it, it was, it was, it was, it was so. And this is what I'm saying. And I feel that, you know, it, 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 it just pushed him too fast, too quick. And he could have done it. It's not to say he couldn't have done it, because in other ways, in other things, it, boom, it, it just it just appears. It just happens, you know. But at this time, I think, you know, certain things, the nerves or whatever, got to him. It was, you know, and he, he, that, you, well, always can, you can always tell when somebody wants something. That it flows it, it, you're, you're like you're like rapping. You're like talking. You just flow. Yeah, and yeah, you know, yeah. And, 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 that, and, and that confidence flows through the body. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, it was hard. It was hard. And and let me tell you one one thing. You know, through that, me losing that bet because I had a bet with a friend, and um and the bet was if Joyce beats Dubois. I'd have to put a photo of Joyce in my living room. And now look. <laughs> <laughs> now look, look, who's this man? <laughs> look, I have to look at that every day. Every day I have to look at that. Did that you know, cost me money and I have to look at Joyce every day. But he's not bad looking. He's not bad looking. The, the, uh, <laughs> the next, the next heavyweight champion of the world. Oh, I, you know what I mean. That's all it is. That's all it is. Okay, who, who, who's your money between him and Usyk? Who, and Usyk and who? And Joyce. Oh, this will be a. It's even be a. It, that will be even be a great fight. It'll be a fantastic fight now because Joyce has proved, you know. That he is capable to stay in there with them, with the greatest, with the best. Because yeah. for me, you know, I was the one. That, I was one of the people that Joyce was uh, slow. You know why? Because I told, I see, I, I see, I said you were, you were, you were right. You know, you were definitely right. I was, you know, I'm never, never oddly wrong. <laughs> this, time, <laughs> this time, I had to put now and to show that shame. I have to put a photo of Joyce because you know the man is is a is a different kettle of fish, and uh, yes. the way he is the way he is and what he can show and what he can do has proved me wrong, you know. And I think with Uzik now, Uzik will run around, run around, and Joyce will just stick that jab out in his face. I feel feel that Uzik will win. He's the Dude. superior man. I, I I will. I still think. So. You know, Uzik will win because I have to look at Joyce every day. And if I can get him off, if I can get him off my wall and get Uzik on there, I'll do it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, not, I'm for Uzik. <laughs> but 
um, but yeah, I, I feel that Joyce will make a good fight for him. He will. He, 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 I think he will give him a good fight. You know. I think Joyce stops I think, him. I think Joyce stops Joyce, him. What Uzi? Yeah, oh, I'll stop, I'll stop Uzi. Down the stretch. Down the stretch. Well, I wouldn't even argue with that one because I, all I know it will be a good fight. You know, I think it'll be good. I think Uzi has the, the skill, has the footwork. You know, so he, he ain't gonna be. Because, you know, when I first saw Joyce in my, you know, when he was boxing for, um, uh, it was a club in West London, I couldn't believe how slow this fella was. He was that slow. I even went to him, I said, yeah, boy, you're rubbish. Do you know what I mean? I said, <laughs> I said he's useless. I said, Jesus. And and his coach said to me, he boxes for England. I said, what? Even So... That's what I'm talking about. This is our, this is what we're talking about now. It's a different level what, the, what we what we had and what they've got. But he's came up to the mountain. He has. He's he really has really has put himself. You know, and that's how I've always thought. From when the first day I see him, and I really didn't really sit and watch him that much because I thought he was that bad. You know, and uh, all of a sudden I've watched this Dubai fight. And I've had what I've seen through him before, and I just used to think he was slow and oh my god, and boring, you know. And um, I said to myself, "No, I ain't gonna even watch that fight," you know. But I'll watch this one. You know what I mean? I watched the Dubai one because you know we know Dubai is 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 stable mate, you know. And I thought, yeah, let me watch this one. This one will be good. He, he, he you know, they're rushing him too much, too quick, but. You know, let let's see how he gets on here. I think he would stop him. You know, and I was wrong. I was wrong. Now I have to live with his photo on my <laughs> wall. I have to live with that photo on that wall. I, and I, that's why I need music. I'm begging for music to just you know to destroy, <laughs> to box him up, show him the show him the way, show him the way. That's all I want. Music to show him the way. And you're right. You probably be right again. I might have to get. I might have to get a second one. <laughs> you're gonna get that. You're gonna get this. Yeah. You're gonna get that. Boom, watch, boom, watch. And, then, and then it gets the ropes. Yeah, yeah. But I think it Uzi's, a little, Uzi's a bit more stylish. A little bit more, you know, relaxed. He's a little bit more smaller. elusive. It's, it's smaller, smaller. Yeah, smaller. smaller. He gets lighter. In, lighter. And, and he gets. He gets. Hitable. He, he, he can be hit as well, but he, 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 I think with his style, he, he'd rather not get hit, you know? But, um, can he, yeah. Can he, can he stop Joyce coming forward? I, I don't think he can stop Joyce coming forward because he's that big. He's that, yeah. but I think he can, he can move that he's, he's slick enough and quick enough to slip the shots and, and counter. And that's what it's all about. It's all about that movement and taking charge of that, of that ring. Being, being the king of the castle. This is not amateur boxing. This is pro no, boxing. No, it's not. It's not at all. But the, the, the pro and boxing That's stuff, what I'm saying. For 12 rounds, can he do that? If Derek can hit him, if Derek can hit him, Joyce can damn well hit him. Yeah, you're definitely, <laughs> you're definitely right. You're definitely right. But I think he'll be... He'd be in a special camp for them to for them for them for that guy for that Joyce because you need to. He's he's a like I said, he's developed yeah, and yeah, he's but, got better. But, all right. it's okay, so he's gonna go to a special camp. Who's gonna train him? Who's gonna educate him? Uh, who? Who's gonna educate him? You he's gonna go to the camp. Who's it? You go to a special camp. Yeah, who's, who's gonna educate Usyk? I will bloody hell to get him off of my wall. I'll I'll be his coach. I'll tell him how to beat Joyce. I know how to beat Joyce. I'm telling you. Believe me. Even I would. I, listen, Usyk, if you're there, please get me into your camp. I'll show you what to do. But he oh, knows anyway. He knows what to do. He knows what to do anyway. Right. He's so, got. He's got. He's so got wait, experienced wait. people so, around him. Is this Tony the hater C say now? No, I just, I, I, I just need him off my wall. I need him off my wall. <laughs> if I can get him off my wall, <laughs> I have to, I have to follow the rules. <laughs> the rules are, I have to put it. <laughs> and the only way you can get off is someone <laughs> I like or someone he boxes that I've got. That's how he gets off of that wall. But Anuzik is the one to do it for me. 
So that's why. That's you what. See? That's what I'm. You see, Tony. <laughs> this is karma. This is karma. It's karma. Coming back. It's karma. <laughs> way back for when I said he was useless. What are you doing in that ring? And Yard was fighting at that time. You know what I mean? Yeah. We couldn't believe what we were seeing in there. But he, 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 he you know, he, he's turned out to be fantastic. He has. He really has. He's, he's proved me wrong, and uh, many other people. And uh, I, I hope he just keeps on going, getting better and better, and which he will do. Okay, right. Uh, final question before we get and talk about um, Mr. Tony Mr. Burns, Mr. Repton, Mr. Repton. Mr. Repton. So let's yeah. talk about um, the final thing. Um, Tyson Fury, no, Deontay Wilder, Mark Breland. Let's talk about that. Oh well, I, 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 I. I I feel that, you know, it, it was like, um, I don't know if he was, he was briefed properly on this situation, you know, because, you know, other people weren't briefed. Tundi wasn't brief. He was asking questions, which, you know, he, he did. Because I think if he was brief, he wouldn't ask the questions. Now everybody's, you know, he's saying, oh, well, he's a big man. He shouldn't have. He should have said, he should have known what he was said. But anyone would, anyone would, if you're upset with somebody who you, you, you had, you, you know, you would, you, you would, you would, you'd go off on. Yeah, you, but the you, thing you is, just do it. the thing is, what I don't get is, why would you go and do an interview? Who the hell wants to talk to Mark Breland about anything but him getting sacked by Deontay Wilder? Well, you don't want to talk to Mark Breland about his boxing career. You call him Mark Breland because you're going to talk to him about what happened to Deontay Wilder. So it was senseless him going on the show. Yeah, yeah, of course it was. But the thing is, the, the thing is, it was the way they put it to him was a different way. Was to, to talk about him being Olympian, being because I would, I would listen to that. I would listen to Reeland because I've always. Yeah, but, I tell, but, 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 I tell but, my kids, I tell yeah, my daughters about that, 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 that's, to that man. But that, that's him. yeah, but that's fine if we didn't have the big elephant in the room. He got sacked by uh, Deontay Wilder. It wouldn't be such a bad problem. It wouldn't be such an issue if Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua were going to be fighting soon and Fury just beating uh, Wilder, if that wasn't the case. But Fury yeah. just beating Wilder. We, Brennan got sacked. Wilder's come with all these accusations. How, if they didn't ask the question, people would ask, well, but, but Mark Breland there? Listen, we've got Mark Breland. He's probably not in the safe... It, 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 mentally, we're in a pandemic now. Look what's happening. Even Breland can, 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 you know, trip up, and and that's what's happened. He's he's probably still not got over the fact that he's been sacked, you know, and why and the reasons, you know. It's it still, you know, sometimes it, it still goes on in your head. Come on, sometimes you don't know when a woman leaves you. Why? It still goes in your head. You still jump off a cliff. You know what I mean? You yeah, still yeah, go yeah. and do so. You don't, and I think that's this is what uh, you know has happened to this poor. Man, you know this great champion of, uh, you know. I, I, I spoke to I spoke to uh, Junior Jones, the former uh, champ, two two weight champion. I spoke to him, and he's close with Breland, and he told me that Breland was telling him that Deontay doesn't train properly. So I heard that back in November. Yeah, well, we knew that. We knew that from way back, way back. You know, way back. You know, the days when. Um, Audley Harrison fought Deontay Wilder, you know, and stories come out there that, you know, things, he, the movement, if you look at his movement, he was just one big powerhouse. He just loved knocking out people. But as soon as you got to get somebody who can move around him, he found it difficult. You know, it was, it, it was like t teaching uh, a bodybuilder how to belly dance. So you're basically saying to me that Deontay Wada, from what you, from your knowledge, you knew that he wasn't training the way he should have been training. Okay, listen, there's 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 certain things that he's used to. He's training. He was obviously training hard and whatever he does. But there's other there's other things in the element that he's training which should have been put there. And I knew that there's certain things he was doing weren't put there. You know, so yes, I knew that from uh, uh, you know ages ago. But the thing is, when people like um, go over there to spar, they come back and tell you stuff. 
You don't understand? When people go there and train and, and then they come back and tell you something, the boxing community is a, is, is a small community. It's a small community. It, it may be loads of boxers out there, but, you know, this is why I say to you, we've heard about this guy and how good these other people do, you know, and if they're doing well, if they're not doing well. And people go out there and start sparring. They will go out there and do, start doing stuff. You know, you've got this guy who sparred with um, Tyson Fury. You know, the, 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 the American guy. Now he's going out there saying he did this, he did that. He put this in his gloves. He done... Oh, my God. See, that's how, you know, close neck you're talking about. You know, he's out now because he's a, obviously a, 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 a wilder a, a, a fan. You know, he's gone out and said everything he does in the training camp. He had the same training camp as, you know, when he was Klitschko because he, he boxed like Klitschko. So all of a sudden, he's, he's come out with everything that goes on in the camp. Well, they see, I heard stories about Dubois in camp. I heard what, it was, I heard what Povetkin was doing to Dubois in camp. And I, okay. once I heard those stories, I, heard, I said, uh-huh. Because if Joyce puts it on Dubois, he's not going to like it. That's what I heard. He doesn't like it was put on him. And we saw no. what happened when, when he put on him. When it was actually put on him, he didn't know what to do. Yeah, well, I, I, well, I heard in camp that Dubois had a good, you know, had a good camp when he went out there. You oh, know, I so didn't hear that. I did not. I, I did that story. I heard he, done, he, he didn't come back with any black, black eyes, bruises, you know. You know, you, 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 you could see if something is wrong uh, within a training camp, you'd know people who say things. And yeah. you know, everything was good. Everything was fantastic. Nothing wow. was out of the normal. You know, he had a good training camp. I asked him myself. Uh, you not, know, not that training camp. Not that training camp. Not the Joyce training camp. Before the Joyce training camp. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's what I the story. Uh, okay. I heard that story about a about half a year ago. And okay. I know the guy who spied both Joyce and Dubois back to back in sparring. And that guy told me, he was telling me about the sparring and, and how it went and stuff. That's how I learned. So I knew more about Dubois and that's how I knew about Joyce. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's how I was able to have that insight and to know more about uh, Joe Joyce and Dubois. Dubois, oh. I, I believe Dubois is going to be, it's not going to be a physical thing. I think it's going to be mental with Dubois. I think it's mental strength It, it will be. It will be heart. now. It will be now. Now these days, you know, someone else is taking over the reins of, you know, um, so they'd have to really get into his head. And to get into his head, like I said, he's it, it, not, he's not, you know, uh, how would you say? He's it, it, not a kid where you can just, you know, say, blah, 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 go and do this. Done. You have to really, you know, talk to him. Take in your way time. You, can, you got to yeah. take your time. You, to, he's, you know, he, he, you know, He's just one of them kids, you know. He's a nice kid, but you've got to really take it. How you, how you, how you try and develop him? Because you, you know he can whack and he can hit, and it, with his own emotions, he just go out there and whack, you know, knock everybody out. But you've got to teach him. You've got to let him start slowing him down and start telling him, "This is what you got to do: it's footwork, box, box." And if you start getting him into that into that way of life of boxing and moving the feet and gliding and Oh, he'll it, it, be a better boxer, you know? He'll be a, yeah. a better boxer, definitely. But he's only young, so he's got a big future. Big future, you know? He can lose this fight and, to, you know, he go, long as his eyes, long as his eyes, uh, you know, he's got no serious issues with his eyes, he, 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 he'll go from strength to strength. Mm. Um, but just uh, as a side note, one of our guests is going to be fighting the guy that beat... Um, What's his name? The guy, your fighter, who fought the other day in Russia. Oh, what's his name again? The guy who fought in Russia. What's, what's the young man's name again? I can see his Umar. name now. Umar. Sadiq, yes. Uh, who's who's, who's, who's uh, fighting the Russian? One of the, one of our guests, uh, Isaac Chilembe, is fighting him on, on the 20th of February. Okay. I, I, I hope Isaac really does go out there weeks before. You know, and really gets attuned with the with their way of 
life in the sense of the, the, the climate and everything. I hope he does. Obviously, he's been know. there before with a Co the Kovalev fight he had. Remember? Well, Isaac did. Yeah, Isaac. Isaac okay. Chalet, okay. So, he Kovalev, knows. so yeah. So my, my only concern with him, he's coming from light heavyweight back down to super, super, super middle yeah. at his age. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And, and, and he's very, he's very clever, you know? Yes. True enough. He's very, he's a clever man. You know, forever. And it only, it only got to me when, cause he came to the Peacock and did a bit of um, training cause he, he was fighting. Uh, Gross. Groves, yes. and you know, I was watching this guy, and you know, he had a he had a mask. He wanted one of their masks on, and he's hitting the bag, and he's hitting it slowly, and but he was doing it for a long time. I went, wow! And he he was he was compressing himself for the air, the way of you know uh, the surroundings he was at. He walked around. I see him walking around. Oh, it was. It, it, it was unbelievable. He got himself in shape for that one. You know, he got himself in shape. Got himself in, yeah, in real good yeah. shape for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, how much do you think uh, Umar learnt from that defeat? Ah, uh, Umar would have learned uh, would have learned a lot because you got to remember that he nearly done it. <laughs> he, 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 he nearly done it. You know, that's how close he was. So you know, hopefully. He would he learned a lot from that. You know, you you win with a, a, a you know a world champion. It's a world champion. He 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 took that he took that you know risk and he he he, he went with it. He, he started too fast. That's all I feel. You know, if he if he would have stayed at a good level and but he couldn't really because the guy was so clever. He made him he made him work hard. He he pushed yeah. him into that. You know, and he knew what he was doing. He weren't, he weren't, he weren't silly. But you know, all, 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 all the best to to Umar. He done fantastic. You couldn't get, you couldn't, you couldn't be any prouder than somebody who just, you know, only had so many twelve fights, and this dude enough has had 25, 20, yeah. You know, come on, it's 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 a big ass, and uh, yeah, well. he, 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 and and he's one of those who's got a lot of heart and got a lot of bollocks and. <laughs> He just went out. They said, "Yeah, all yeah, right." Yeah, And you got to remember, he, he would never have taken that on if there were fights happening because there were no fights. Yeah. He needed the money. He needed those things. That he looks after his family. He looks. After, there's nothing. He had nothing. He, you know. So that was one of. The, it's a lot of pressure. These young people, boxers, are taking now these days. And this is what it's like now. These. It's not like you know. This person has got one ten fights, and this person. If you've got four fights, you're fighting that person with fifteen fights. They just want you to fight. They yeah. just want you to fight, and you've got to be ready now because you, we won't get normal boxing for another year and a half. I don't think. Yeah. A year and yeah. a half. So the 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 the, 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 the man that puts shows together, the small holes show men, they're gone. They're finished. The only big boys out there are the big promoters who, who have TV companies and promotion. That is it. That is it. But the, but the rest of that is they're going to be finished. Wow. Wow. Yeah, they're going to be finished. That's and that's just and you know you got you got you got young people who are turning professional. They're not going to even have a fight, but they just want to start going into the gyms so they can have a you know. Because they're gonna miss the sport, they're gonna go and do something else. They're gonna go and, you know, you got kids who are just on road earning money now, because there's no boxing, there's no training. You can't go and train. You know that's how difficult it is. You wow, know? you're right. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So this is one of the reasons why I just took my car out of one of my garage, at the garage, and just built a gym for the kids and to come in and do their bit and then come out again. You know, it's 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 really hurtful that you know our sport is is you know misrepresented in this way that, that everyone's represented. You got women uh, on sport; they're represented. You know, you got a community. Uh, you know, uh, of footballers; they're represented. You got tennis, rugby represented, but amateur boxing. You know, it's not represented. Ain't represented, not at all. Shame. Sad. 
Let's talk about Mr. Repton himself, shall we? Ah, he's the man. He was the man. Yeah, Tony Burns. An unbelievable man. Unbelievable man. Uh, let me try and... I'm going to try and see if I can get... Uh, hold on. I'm trying to gonna see if I can get this. My plug is is my, my uh, I'm gonna cut out soon, so I want to make sure I can still talk to you. Yeah. Uh, right there. Oh. Hold on. Yeah. Just waiting for Tony to sort himself out. I'm just trying. Hold on, I have to take that off. I have to take that off and put the charge in. Right. Um, you good now? Yes, I'm, I'm done there. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we have Tony Burns MBE. The ca every everyone could just see the picture of him now. So that's what's up on the screen. You can't see that at the moment. They've just got the picture of Tony Burns up. You can show me that afterwards. Yes. <laughs> so Tony Burns, Mr. Repton, you call him. Tony Burns MBE. Let's talk about oh, him. He's a fantastic man, you know, known throughout the world, you know, um, as a... Just as can you a, a, can you see the a genius as, as a, you know a fantastic mentor mm -hmm. and develop you know thousands of kids had thousands of champions you know I you know it's, it's hundreds of champions in in the the reps and but you know new thousands of boxers who just you know really liked him as a person he, he, not everybody liked it wasn't everybody's cup of tea but he didn't care. <laughs> he didn't care. He just used to walk past them. Whoever he didn't like, he just walked past them. You know what I mean? And he wouldn't even remember their names. But, um, <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't remember their names. And that's where you always knew that, you know, he didn't like a person. You know, he just walked straight past them. Wow. And, uh, and they, they got to hate him even more. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> so, you know, and he knew it. He knew it. And, because I would watch him and, and then, you know, he would talk about somebody, you know, in, in the gym and what they did to him. And so, and I'll see that person in the, in, 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 a, in, a, in a tournament or a thing and I'll see him just walk past them and they know and they're just looking at him, wanting to, they're, like, they're swearing under their breath and they're walking away or you hear them swearing afterwards. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> he was, he was, he, he knew, he planned everything, planned everything, tactics. You know, the way you box, the way you came into, you know, uh, 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 an arena, the what you how you trained, what you psychologically, mentally, he had he had everything prepared. He's seen it all. It's unbelievable. You know, he took over the Repton at the age of 27, and uh, and you know, a few years later, two three years later, he had Olympians. You know what I mean? He had three four Olympians go to the Olympics. Unbelievable. You know. So, a wonderful story, brilliant. Wow, you only dream wow. of things like that. Let me see if I can get another picture up. Let's see if we can get some more pictures of him up. Can we get a picture? Let's see. Can we do this? Yeah, you know, Let's and uh, the, 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 you know, the token of him and you know, and people like you know, George Odwell were fantastic. You know, you never, you never, George Odwell was the was, was, was the professor <laughs> he was a scientist he 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 did the, the, most of the training you know tony tony was the the uh the chief scientist he knew what to do you know mentally he had to break someone down what to do how to do it and what but you know george odwell was the one who taught you how to throw them shots and 
you know, what shot you should throw. Tony also knew what shots to throw when you were sparring because he just watched loads and loads of sparring, you know. And uh, the funniest man, when you got to know him, he was the funniest man ever. He made you laugh all day long, you know. <laughs> you still, still days, even today, you know, these days and he's gone, he passed away a few, you know, a couple of weeks ago and you still laugh at, the jokes and the, the the things he would do since say to you because they're in they're within yourself they're within yourself so we pass on the same you know ways and you know to 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 to, to, to fighters out there everyone who's under him you know you can see the Tony Burns come out in you bit by bit wow 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 so how did um how did Tony how did you get to meet Tony Burns Oh, it was, it was, it was, it was by a friend of mine, you know, and he told me, Damien Caesar, you know, Damien went to Repton and Damien Caesar said to me, there's a fellow here, he's the rudest fellow ever, he, he, you know, he calls people names and, and people don't, <laughs> people don't say anything. <laughs> and, 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 and I, I said, what? He, what, he calls your name and you don't say nothing. Yeah, yeah, no one says anything, but you know, but, they, but people love him. He, he, he make them, and, and he'll make you better. And I said, "What? You can make me better?" I said, "I don't mind someone calling me names, long as I'm the champion. He made me the champion. I'm going. I'm going there." And so I went there. I went to so from Poplar Boys. You know, from Poplar Boys, I went to I went to the Repton, and and that was it. You know, he changed my life. You know, someone. Uh, that you know, wanted to play football. I wanted to play football. I wanted to be a footballer, you know. But that didn't work. I didn't have the discipline, and um, you know, I was soon. I was soon. I was soon thrown. You uh, know, told to leave football because I didn't have the discipline, you know. And Harry Redknapp told me that, you know, he was a wow. at the time, you know. And uh, I was there for that few weeks, and I didn't have the discipline. I hit somebody, you know, and. He said to me, listen, son, he said, uh, you know, we can't have this here, you know, and um, blah, 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 blah. Told me a big, big story, give me a big, big lecture. And then, then he said to me, but what a punch! Wow, he knocked that geezer out, but sure, for sure, he broke his jaw. And the bit, he built me up so much that I said to myself, whoa, you know, he said, you should box, for sure, for sure. He said, you box. I could never forget it. So, there was the day I said to myself, yeah, I'm going to, you know, go, go to boxing. Because when you live in my area, you, you learn how to fight anyway. You, you, you've got to fight. You've got because people will take your, fight, your bike, your, your ball, you know, rude to your, 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 your siblings. So you had to learn how to fight, you know. So and that's what I did. So I could fight anyway. You know, it was just putting it into technical side of it. How to fight boxing wise. That was new. That's a different kettle of fish all, all together you know yeah. um so once i once i got to do that i said to myself yeah this is the game because i still i was playing semi-pro football i started playing semi-pro football and you know so i was earning money there and then uh, um boxing so boxing was keeping me fit for my semi-pro but all of a sudden i i, I got better i was you know and I started boxing for London and then from the London I got boxed for England and then wow I said I like this this is fantastic this I'm, I'm gonna I'm, you know because this man went all took me all around the world all around the world I would never be able to do that I would never ever be able to afford that kind of you know um, uh, 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 money to go and visit places you know, all around the world. And boxing took me there. Boxing took me there, you know. So, you know, I've, I've got so much gratitude and, you know, for, for boxing. But this man who saw that I could be good enough to travel with him, because you had to be good to travel with Repton. You had to be one of the best. And we did. We had, a be we had, we had one of the great teams there. Every one of our weight categories were champions in, 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 in that era, you know. So... We, we was in a special era at that time. And, uh, you know, now it's different now, you know, 
the club is different now. He's not. He hasn't got. He hasn't got an ABA champion at the moment. You know, he's got lots of junior champions, but he hasn't got any senior ABA champions. You know, it, it, it's a shame. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's you get some other. Let me get some other pictures up, and let's see what we can do with the other pictures. Okay. Can you see the picture that's up there at the moment? Picture of yourself yeah, and Tony. That me. That was me and Tony, always laughing and joking. Yeah, and you know, well, you know, <laughs> it was horrible when he was horrible. <laughs> but when he made you laugh, and you know, it was, it was, it was something different. You'd, you'd listen to him, and and when he talked to you, and wow, and it's all about respect, you know. And that's, and that's what I learned: not to so, fear nobody, not to, you know, but to respect people. You know, we went to. We went to places you never ever believe. We met people you never ever believe. We talked to people you just. I used to talk to the Cray twins, you know. Really? Wow. Cray twins, Cray twins, and I would I would talk to the Cray twins. He he'll pass you the phone because he he they'll ring every day because they used to ring every day because they were you know great friends uh, of Tony Burns and the Cray twins will ring and and he'll say. Oh, blah, blah, I've got to do this at the moment. I've got this person. I've been, talk to my world weight champion. And he'll give you the phone. He'll just pass you the phone. And then you'll be talking to Ronnie or Reggie. And you're just telling them, you know, what 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 you did and what you trained. And they were like to know. <laughs> they were they were really like, you're not like you thought oh, they're taking a piss here. You know what I mean? But no, they were they wanted track suits and Tony would send them track suits and you know, and then we got to visit them. You know, it was that was mad. That was a mad thing. That's another story. <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? And yes, so we got to meet people at the underworld you would never ever think, you know, and it's all to do with respect for this man. This they respected this man with like nobody's business. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, it, it, you, we got to meet people that you thought, yeah, we we went and done a, an exhibition match. In a prison. <laughs> wow. In a prison, right? Mm -hmm. And this prison, they let us they let us come in all through the governor mm -hmm. and everything. But you know, it it got out in the paper the next the next the next the next couple of days because wow. they did something awful, you know what I mean? In mm -hmm. in there. So it got out. <laughs> but um <laughs> 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 It was, and, and then, but we got, everyone was there. Everyone was there, you know, and uh, we just got to meet people. We got to meet people. We just, we just couldn't believe we were, what did you are reading about these people? And next minute, you're, there you are, they're coming up to you saying, whoa, you're brilliant. Come, you know, come, come and talk to me for five minutes. And that's all they wanted. That's all they wanted. They wanted to know what was happening, what was happening in their area, if you was from their area, what was going on, you know. Ah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a, it was a life, you know, it was a life that you wouldn't, you wouldn't <sighs> think of, you know. What, what, what were the Cray Twins like? I hear so much about, they're like, uh, they're like they're legends and mythical. The Cray Twins were, 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 were lovely people, when you, when you think about it. Like I said again, see, with Robin Hood, when Tony talked to us about them, they, they looked after a lot of good people, you know what I mean? A lot of, a lot of people in the East End, they did bad things, yes, you know what I mean? <laughs> everybody's got a past like i said you know but they, you know uh they love boxing you know they, they they did bits and that and bobs in boxing you know but they were lovely people for for you know for what i the brother used to come charlie used to come every now and again to the gym and he would talk to you and charlie would tell you stories you know and it was just fantastic Wow, it's fantastic to hear them. So it was stories that you couldn't really say nothing. Do you know what I mean? You couldn't. You you just kept them. Couldn't to repeat. Yeah, of course. You kept them to yourself. And you, so when they said things on telly, you knew what they were true. Do you know what I mean? Because you knew the truth. You know. You know. And uh, yeah, loads of stuff. Things and that that you'd think to yourself, I couldn't even tell you because you know people who pe pe yeah, people who course, just man. you know would just be so upset and. Family, yeah. but, but you just yeah. knew. You just felt. You said to yourself that, "Wow, this is this is this is something special that you got. It. This man is well respected. 
It's unbelievable how they were. And then through coaches itself, you know, how this man was respected through other coaches, people. You know, I'll tell you now that this man used to fund England boxing. He, he would go out of his own put money out of his own pocket so we could go out and fly and fight in different countries. That's unbelievable. No, and, and a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know that. They and these are the people who who do really especially the haters who, you know, ah, he's that, he's this, he's that. But they don't know. They put they said he got to send their own boys in their club to to, to tournaments out of his own money. You know? And uh you don't get that. Oh who's who which which club, which you know, person would go, you know. Would put his own money out of his from his firm from his own pocket to say, listen, we want these boys fighting. If it weren't for Tony, we wouldn't be. They wouldn't even be, you know, a, a, a boxing at that time. At that time, they were traveling and going to tournaments. I'm telling you, it was dead. It was it was gone because they had no money. Sport England had no money at that time. You know, I don't know if it, if it was called Sport England. I don't even think it was. I don't know what it was in them days. But you know, but. After that, we had Sport England. We had funding and things like that. But yeah, he he put he he he, he did things that you will never ever forget. So I, I remember a time as well. We went to Ireland. You remember Northern Northern Ireland when we had all the fights and yeah, the yeah, yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. There was a time where um, we uh, we went out there. We used to box against the Dockers, the Dockers Club. We had every year for years, you know. Um, uh, uh, and we boxed against uh, uh, um, Paddy, uh, pa Paddy's lot. Um, what's his uh, Fitzsimmons, Paddy Fitzsimmons? Yes, yeah, he's a great man, well respected man in, in, in um, Ireland. You know, I could go to Ireland, say Paddy's name, and I, and they'll give me a lift anywhere I wanted to go. That's how that's how you know strong and powerful this man is, also in Ireland, you know. So, uh, um we we boxed in Ireland one time, and then we went to the, the, their their house of Commons or whatever it is. Their, 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 yeah. their main place, you know? yes. And the Parliament building. Yeah, we went there. So we went and showed off, and we had some pictures taken. And they gave us some a tie. They gave us some medals and you know things, clocks and things like that to 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 honour that moment. You know, we we got we were gone out there. It was a centenary time. You know, and and so we seeing as we went in there, we started seeing all these people, these big faces, you know, um, appear, and like you know, like you know, Jerry Adams, you know, and then we had a, a, another guy, the tall fella, um, old fella was who was on the other side. I forgot his name now. Do you, do you know any of their names? I mean, I can't remember it. Yeah, I, I, he's old fella. He died a few years ago, uh, you know. All the, them, but he was on. He was on the other side anyway, the orange side, you know. Yeah. You know, but what happened is that you had the Sinn Fein lot, and then all come in because they were having meetings at the time, you know, and they all coming out the Parliament building. So the next thing you know, some Paddy puts them together. And says, you know, and Tony says, I would like to meet you guys. And, you know, everybody, you know, because they, they were all there. So you had Sinn Féin and you had the other, you know, the, the Catholics and the Protestants. Yeah. And Tony Burns, had, he just took the opportunity. He see it. He see that person and that person. He went and asked Paddy. He said to him, could I, could I, could I talk to him? You know, could I? The next thing you know, of a night time, they developed a meeting. A meeting was all held. And Tony Burns, they couldn't even get around the table for 30 odd years. This man with who they all knew him. And this man, they came and they came in the night time, they came to a meeting with him, you know? And with that meeting, it was it was decided and put down on that they would never bomb an arena, you know, a, 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 like boxing arena or football, you know? That's because he just sat there and he said to him, you know, he's, he, he, for what I, he didn't really talk too much about it, but what I heard him, what I heard was that what, what was, when they were all standing, he said, 
what the fuck has boxing got to do with boxing? That's how he used to talk. Yeah. You know, that little fag in his mouth. And, you know, and, they, 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 and from there, they decided, you know, that, well, we, they won't touch. And that was in the, the 90s. You know what I mean? That was wow. in the, the, the 90s. So that's how, that's how powerful the man was. This is what I'm trying to say to you, is that we had leaders, government leaders who couldn't get people around the table, get them talking. This man came and they knew who he was. They had a meeting of a night time. He got them together in the meeting. This same fella, this old fella who was on the other side, he, you know, and, you know, we, we they all come in because they all, obviously were, they were having these parliamentary meetings, and they, but they all came in at different times because they don't like each other. They didn't even like each other. So they didn't talk to each other, but he got them in the room talking. I couldn't believe it. You know, it was, and we couldn't even say anything. I wanted to really go out and tell everyone. I, I just, you know, you couldn't say nothing. You couldn't even say nothing. But that's how, that's how powerful the man was. That's how, you know, influential and well-respected, you know, Mr. Tony Burns was. Unbelievable, he, you know. Okay. So this picture I've got here, what's this picture? I see Kevin Mitchell. Oh, yeah. I, I think this is just a, 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 a Repton um, show that they had, I think. And they all worked it. They all, they all came to it and... You know, it, it was a, it was it was a it, one of them fantastic events that we have every year at York. We used to we've had it for so long now, um, so many years. Every year when we invite, you know, so many faces and so many people, influential people. Do you recognise all the people in that photo? I see Kevin Mitchell here. Who else? I I, I, I can't really see it. You know, I can't really see him. I can't really see him, but yeah, uh, Tony and uh, and Kevin Mitchell, the only important people there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll leave it as that. Let's go to the next no, picture. There were some there were coaches and trainers there, which are very important and trainers. Yeah, of course. I can't see it now because it's so small. Let me get this. Let me see. If we get this picture up for you. We can pull another a great picture up again. Um, bear with me, I'll try and get another big picture. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, the man was that, the, the, that man, that man was so you know influential. It was what about this picture? Unbelievable. All right, this picture. Oh, that was that was with Frank Bruno. You know, that that, that what happened was that he was he, he was at, he went for a meal with I think um some friends and that, and um even Frank loved him. Frank, Frank, you know, he, he, Frank knew him from the days because Frank, he would just ring up. Tony would ring Frank up, and Frank would come with gloves and things like that to the reps and, and and say hello to the boys. Anything, you know. This is that's how that's how powerful you know he was. You know, people like John H. Tracy, anybody, Babsy from from Nigeria. He's like a, he's like high up in the Nigerian state. But that when the boys went to Nigeria, it was Babs. Who, 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 who um, uh, 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 done it all? You know, not not Babs, his wife Barbara, his wife, who tragically died last year as well. You know, he, he, once his wife went, he would he couldn't live without her. I think. Wow. You know, he, he went. Yeah, he, he went. He went straight away. You know, but um, this was a uh, uh, Frank who came in. He only came into um. To have some to take a, a takeaway, he came into um, uh, have some lunch there to uh, eat at his house with a takeaway. But he saw that Frank um, Tony Burns was there and, and made so much fuss of him; it was unbelievable. And uh, uh, and when Fra and when Tony went to pay for the meal, Frank yeah. had already paid for it. Did wow! It really? Amazing, eh? That's a that's a you know respected and loved he was also yeah and so frank would do anything for years frank would come to this and come to that or do this for us and do that for us you know it was unbelievable you know well like this one this this picture here was sugar ray leonard we had a fantastic time sugar ray leonard came a few times he's come to the repton and uh i i got to spend a whole night with sugar ray leonard and his son we were dancing and a couple of days you know we was we were, we were with him. It was unbelievable. Me, Wendell, 
Wendell gave him a Chelsea top. I'll give him a West Ham top. <laughs> he didn't know none of the teams. He didn't know. <laughs> but I think he wears the West Ham one now. But that's <laughs> what's, what's, it, what's, what's your Ray Leonard like as an individual? Oh, he was great. He was fantastic. You know, he, he, he watched the sparring. He, he, he advised. He was the kids, and, you know, and talked to Tony. And this, it, he just, he just was so exciting to have around the whole gym. He, he was, you know, he was signing the gym anyhow, anywhere. He was just he was one of them elements that, and so powerful and so strong that a man can come and do a talk in in in, in England, and all of a sudden come to the Repton. You know what I mean? He knew yeah. that, and because because you know. You had you had um a boxer. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name now. Bloody hell! He boxed Sugar Ray Leonard as a kid when he was he won as one of the uh, Graham Manton. Graham Manton. Yeah. Oh, Graham Manton was a fantastic boxer, he was a fantastic boxer, and um, he, he's he's coaching some of the young kids now. Um, Holland Shaw in. In um uh, in Clapton on Sea, that's okay. where I think he lives now. So yeah, I'll I'll go there to to help out one of my friends who's taking it over now. He's doing a fantastic job there, where he's he's opened up the gym and you know he he's had a a fella who's sponsored him. He sponsor a sponsored him to 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 look after the kids, young kids all around that area to get them boxing and get them, you know. Uh, developing their social skills and and life skills is is fantastic, but you know he boxed Graham Manton and he he never forgot Graham Manton. It's unbelievable. Ah, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, uh, um, um, as a as a brain and knows who he's fought and the people and where they're from. He does his own, you know, uh, um. He does his own references, you know what I mean? Meaning that he goes and looks them up. He goes and finds out about them, you know? And it, 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 just the way you hear him talking and what he did, and now you would understand why he was a great champion. Uh, you know, he, he, he did everything. He, he, he was, you know, he, he, didn't, he didn't leave a stone turned, I don't think. When, 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 when you talk about what he did. What about this photo? Nah, uh, that's him with Muhammad Ali. You know, he he talked to Muhammad Ali. Well, he not even talked to him. He spent time with him. He knew him. You know, phoned him up a few times. You know, uh, it was unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> what was his relationship? What was his relationship like with Ali? No, but he, the relationship there because he was well respected. He went to uh, you know lots of games and coaches who would who would go to them games, would know people like Mum Dali. And because he met him, he would say, whoa, you met my friend, you met me. And they would phone people. When you meet a friend and you, you're friends with these people, you, you stay in contact. And that's what p many people did around the world. People from Russia, Sweden. You know, we had boxers coming all around the world to come and spar in our club. Yes. Through this man. Through this man, you know, that's how powerful this man was and well respected. You know, this is what I'm trying to say. He was yeah. well respected, you know. Not that people didn't like him, <laughs> but like I said, he didn't care. <laughs> and wow. he, he showed us, he showed us how not to care, you know, just get on with your life and you make sure you outlive them. You outlive them, and then that's two fingers up you, yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that was his way. He said, "I say he talk everything we say to him. Now, it's like he, he he's put them same sort of ways and ways of thinking. You know, and, and and you have to you have to really say to yourself, he didn't he didn't care what you said about him. He didn't care. He didn't care. He didn't give two tosses. All he all he wanted was if you if you would win." <laughs> If you could box for the club, you know what I mean, and on the on the, and and on the club show was the most important thing, you know. You went and boxed in the ABAs. That was for yourself. That was for yeah. yourself. But if you box for the club, and you box rubbish, he will tell you about it. He will tell you, listen, you do that again, you're out. 
You know what I mean? Oh, many a times he 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 you didn't you didn't say you didn't do what he said in that ring. He walk he he walk away. I can imagine somebody else doing your corner. I'm telling you. I can, I can imagine that. Can well, yeah, imagine. I'm telling you. Yeah, I, 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 I had a trainer like that. Yeah, I had a trainer <laughs> like that. I look alike. They're no joke. Nice. No, no joke. joke. No, no so joke. Um, that that was the time before we had things like child protection, child abuse, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and being rude and being so rude. <laughs> <laughs> Tony will tell you in the gym and say certain things that you it, 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 it would have been it would have been blasphemous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you love the man. That's how, that's how, so, that's, how, that's, how, that's how great the man was. You know, you just loved him. Was this a picture of Tony telling uh telling uh, Mr. Uh, telling royalty what he thought of them? Yeah, the well, he came. He got he got MBE. He was an MBE. Ah. He was one of them people who MBE was. You know, even you know they came and then he went to get collect that. And also, you know, you had the 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 the, the, the um the, the what's his name? The Duchess. The, 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 what's his name? Charles. Not Charles. Ch uh, not Charles. The other. The dad. Philip. Yeah, Prince. the dad. He, he came. I met. I, I was. I had dinner with him myself. What's he like? A, 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 a function, you know, and uh, he asked me on the table when I was sitting with him. He said to me, "So, what do you do, chap?" I said, uh, "I've got a, I've got, I've, I've got, I run an organisation helping young kids and blah blah blah." And it, it, and I said, "But we ain't got no, we ain't got no money to carry on, you know." And he says, "Join the club, chap." <laughs> and that was him. And that was him telling me, you know. Uh, you know the the the, um, the queen's husband. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, you know, he said to me, "Yeah, that's what he said to me." He said he laughed, he laughed, and then we were eating dinner. He laughed and then join the club, old chap. <laughs> so 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 wait, so he didn't give you any money? Oh, like 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 fucking. He, <laughs> he, he laughed at me. Like, all the, all the other funders. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I never ever forget that. I never ever forget that. That was one big, you know. Uh when he's, you know, he's uh, he is very, very, you know, he's very he's very ill at the moment. So yeah, it was, it was funny at that yeah. table. Yeah, but you know, the royal came up there, you know, his husband, the Queen's husband came there to the the Repton, you know. I wasn't there, but you know, he, that's how that's how they wanted to come and see the Repton gym. They heard about this man and they came, you know. Lots of people get MBEs, but they don't go and visit places, you know what I mean? Yeah. They, well, this place was special. They saw that and they came and, 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 and they came. Wow. Let's yeah. continue. So that's a, that's Got a man. picture from the yeah, screen. That's, that's a special man himself. This picture. Yeah. Who's this picture of? Oh, this is a, this is a picture of, he, he was, he loved this boy, you know. And uh, it's just a picture. He, he, you know, um, uh, his his son. Uh, what's his name? Jamie. Um, okay. Branch. Yeah, James Branch. He's okay. one of, he's one of the kids that told Mister Tony Burns he loved him because he won so many schoolboy titles as a as a junior. Ah, oh, it was unbelievable. Twenty odd, you know, junior titles. This kid won. You know, wow. and, uh, you know, and then he turned pro and it wasn't for him. It wasn't for him pro, but he was one of the kids he went to, he went, he boxed for England many a times. And, you know, he was, he was one of the, 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 the kids that favorite, one of Tony Burns favorite boys really was. You always, wow. knew, you, you always knew he, 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 he liked you and, and if, he was, if he was his favorite, he'd do anything for you. He'd do anything for everyone in the gym. He he gave me jobs. He, he used to have he used to have uh, a, a a remove. Well, he still has it. His son's taken over it now, and he he did removals for big firms in the city, and um and these these people who got loads of money, you know what I mean? And these people would come to our shows at the Port and Tons every year. We have a Port and Tons event where the Dockers will come or another you know uh, club will come. 
and box us. We still have it now. They still they still do that now, um, to this day because of this man and and Paddy for Simmons, who who make that happen. And these people from who who he he does jobs for, they come and they spend loads of money, and the club becomes we our club Repton was very you know well off club. It was one of the clubs which fend it for itself. We could go to trips just like that because you know we had important people that he brought to the table. He brought to the table. And um they it, it gave me that 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 freedom of going to different countries. This is this is what I try and say to that you know a, a kid uh, coming into our area you know like this and then setting up a thing which was so beneficial for kids in that area, in our community to have. And and that's and that's what and that's what happens, you know. We, so, used, to, we used to go to the Repton as young mm -hmm. kids in Bethlehem Green, we used to go to the Repton just to watch the fights in the in in the showers. And Tony would have would have like we just had boxing um uh, football matches every year. Football matches. Whites be the blacks. <laughs> you couldn't. You couldn't have that now. You. <laughs> you have Sky Sports. <laughs> <It's wrong. laughs> you know I mean? So, but yeah. that's 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 how he was. He was old, old style. You know, old ways, and you know, he was he was he was the man. He was he was he was he was he was, he was you know. Perfect in every way and not so perfect in other ways. <laughs> so, so he said he, was he lovely. said he, was, he, he was gained a lot of enemies. He gained a lot of enemies, but clearly, so his friend, he, he said he gained he gained a lot of enemies. But during his time, he must have had lots of friendships because look oh, at the people he, he worked with. Friends. He had more friends than enemies. Believe me, you know, yeah, he had more friends than enemies. You know, like I say, like I said, you know, he, this man he had a past. But he, he took away, he went away from that past and built built relationships with the community. He, he started doing things with, you know, raising champions, developing champions. And and, and, and that's all and that's all there so, there's ever been that. Tony, and that's why the club is so famous. What was the Tony Burns way in terms of amateur boxing? If you were if you were to like take the blood of Tony Burns and Put that blood into a boxer. What would that boxer look like? What was did he? Was he a guy that liked flashy guys? And if you were going to talk about a boxer, a British boxer or world boxer today, that would be a Tony Burns fighter. Who would that fighter be? That fighter would be, you know, it, you, the first thing you had to have is respect. That's the yeah. first thing you taught every one of us: respect and respect the club, and you know. You, you know, the main you don't have to respect the person, but make sure you respect the club. So you didn't have, you know, big wars and fights at the club. He had control of everything. You know, it's, it's, it's now like now these days, it's a lot of people fighting for power in in, in uh, at the Repton Club. It's it's just mad. It's just madness. So, right. but 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 what it is when he was there, when he was there, he had control. He had control of you know. Everything from the fighting, from you know what we do, what, what trips we'll go on, and he had advice. And, and people said what they had to say, what they, you know. But he, his, his word was the last, was the last word. If he didn't really like it and didn't want to go there, he made sure these people would vote, <laughs> vote that we didn't go. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but the, the, the boxer. The boxer who he loved it was skillful. You had to be skillful. If you were skillful, he just loved skill. He loved you controlling that ring. He loved, you know, he loved it power, you know. But the most of it, he, he just loved kids who were just so skillful and technical. Because he, you know, the things that he would tell you and show you and and say to you, these, this is this is how you're gonna win. This is what you and you believed him. You believed him. You just believed him. Anything he, he would say, he believed because he knew so much. He knew so, so much. Him like, give, and me, George were give, give, me example, give me an example of the type of boxer that you would say was really a Tony Burns fighter at their best. Who would you say would, would oh, well, encapsulate? I mean, you had, you had Andre Ward. 
you know, he would have loved him, you know, um, you, you know, Muhammad Ali, you know, uh, you, you, people like Mayweather, you know, he, he, he liked him because he just, he just knew what to do, you know, he, 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 you know, people like, he, he liked Morris Hope, John H. Tracy, boxers like that. He developed them into world champions. Olympia. He also, he also worked with Audley Harrison as well, I understand. Of course he did, yeah. Well, I'll, came, I'll, came tell I'll tell you I'll tell you a story about Audie Harrison. He and Audie were in the same class together at Tottenham College. Right? Wow, yeah. And, yeah. And I would I would look I I'll would look you, up. I'm gonna phone him and tell him that. I'll talk right. to him. Good. If he remembers you. If he remembers if you were a hard worker. I listen, Audie said to me, Audley would me and Audie sit in class together, and Audley would leave class. Halfway through, we were both doing recreation and leisure. It would leave class to go and do uh, for his amateur fights. So that time, <laughs> the opponent would have been Tony Burns he'd been going to and working with Tony Burns at the time. It's amazing how worlds cross in a certain way. So he'd been going to Tony yeah, Burns. It's amazing, isn't it? And then Audley asked me to start doing his boxing classes with him, right? And it took me into the road of boxing as well, but that's another story for another day. But, I mean... Even when Audley came into the Repton... When Audley came into the Repton, you know, Audley didn't like Tony. Do you know what I mean? Because Tony, because he thought, because Audley used to come in with all these bright colours on and, you know, and, and he used to really say to Audley, he said, what, what, what are you doing here? You know what I mean? What's your name? <laughs> and then after, he'd forget that. And he knew, he just used to like, you know, he used to probably to say, you know, are you going to put yourself into in, in this game? Are you going to give 100%? To this game, and uh, and Audley really didn't really. He was just showboating, and he just told him about it. And one day, uh, they told him he was gonna go. You know, Audley was gonna, and then somebody said to him, "No, don't." You know what I mean? He's just trying to help you. He's just trying to do this, and and then next thing you know, Audley loved him, <laughs> and Audley <then he laughs> become a, and Audley become oh, a business really? because it's it's hard. But he knows when you don't give respect to the club. You know, and at that, at that time, you know, Audley could tell you he didn't. Do you think you know, if, he used to ball in there like he was a world champ and he was not? I know. He an ABA title that time. I know. Do you think if Tony Burns had taken Audley from amateur into the pros, Audley would have been a, a pro fighter? No, I, 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 I think, I think no, he didn't. Uh, no, Tony didn't take him into the pro. No, 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 no. Amateur. That's what I said. If Tony, had if Tony had taken him to the pros, my cousin, <clears throat> my cousin managed Audley until he fought Danny Williams, and she walked out because of the nonsense that was going behind the scenes. But that's another story for another day. That's but story, yeah, Audley Harrison with Tony Burns in his corner. Would he have been a better pro with Tony Burns? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, Tony Tony didn't like the pro game. Do you know what I mean? He just Why? Loved the amateur, he loved the amateur game, but but um, he, he definitely he definitely he, he, the things that he would have told him to do and you know, the lifestyle and blah 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 and how to adapt himself definitely and 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 what to watch out for and what to so we got this we got this in our heads. He, you know. The pro game, this is why I, I didn't turn pro because, you know, he made us love that amateur game so much that you didn't really want to need to turn pro. You know, we used to, he used to get pro pro coaches to come and take us from England to go and spa in, in, in all around Europe, all around the world. Wow. He was, that's, how, that's how good we were at that time and that's how respected he was. They, they would come, pick us up, I mean, pick us and say, listen, we want such and such to go to and, and go and train and go and spar with this pro. We used to spar, we could get paid just like pros. We would get paid to go and spar all around the world. Oh, I, I did it with so many people. It's unbelievable. Well, oh, you just won't believe it. I would go back and sparring with people like Mikael Rusk, you know, all these other people in America. Unbelievable. You know, and he did it because of the respect for this man. We got to do that. This is why uh, people would never understand, you know, how much you respect and how much love and drop this man brought to people in the, in the Repton. Change their lives. Change so their lives. the fact that British boxing today would be at a loss because Tony Burns is no longer with us, MBE. What 
what have we lost in terms of the amateur game and the development of pro fighters in the UK and future talent? How much of a loss is that to British boxing? Ah, it's a big loss. When you when you get, you know, legends of the game like this who go away, you know, what they leave behind is their greatness. Their greatness. Their greatness. This is what they're... And we should take that greatness of all the coaches around who are great coaches, you know, you, 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 you take every bit of sponge, you be a sponge and take all their great ways and their wisdom of the knowledge of the game and, and, and teach it to people who really need it, people who yeah. really want it. And, and, and that's my emphasis in, is, is, is getting young people, teaching them the way that I was taught by the greatest because I, I was only taught by the best, you know, when I boxed for England, I was taught by the best coaches uh, uh, like what we had around us. You know, I didn't like all of them, you know, but I was taught by the best. I listened to them. I respected them. And, 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 and uh, you know, and that's how it is. And when we lose greats like this, it's, 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 we, we miss them because now you've got YouTube where we can have coaches who be YouTubers, you know? We, we've got coaches who, 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 who go and watch YouTube and say, yeah, and take on a pro fighter. A take on a talent and say that they're coaches and think that. And they're not coaches, yeah. We've got a few of them around. We've got we got a few of them today. We've we've done our we've done our degree. Legacy, legacy, legacy. There's a lot of coaches out there that are frauds. Legacy. Who taught you? Who taught you? They know who they are. They know who they are. Yeah, let, fraud. Let, let, let them let them go to let them let let them do what they're doing, and I hope they get success of it. No, must never say to them, you know, the, because they're they're doing a sport that we love. So I'm open, I'm only wishing the best for them. But of course, you know that they're fooled. You know they 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 they, they play that they they're, they're plastic, they're plastic coaches. You know, yep. and uh, you you just you've just got to, you just got to sit there and watch them. While you see men like this give their life to the to the game to the sport of boxing, and then you know, and and, and they pass away, and then we don't we don't we don't acknowledge him. That's why I wanted to acknowledge this man and tell say things, but to about this man that people do, don't know, people didn't know, you know. I knew, I uh, you know, through the the time I was there, my time, all the wonderful things, even more. We would. We would be here for like you know two months. Me telling you what this man had done and what he does and what he did—it's unbelievable, you know. Uh, you know, uh, it's 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 amazing. It's amazing for, for yes. our boxing today. It's amazing. How he helped out people, other people, other families in boxing. It's just a, it's it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Tony, Cisse, thank you so much. For talking to BWTM and sharing your memories with thank with uh, Tony, and thank you for calling us and letting us know about it because oh, I would not I have known about him. Sure, I wanted to set my to 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 to, to, to set to to talk about this legend, and you know to to put it out there so everybody knew, and you know, and everybody would know in time and history that this man was a legend. This man yes. was. You know, he'll go in history and, you know, the people that, you know, he brought up and he, he coached and, you know, it, it's fantastic. It was a, it I was wish, a I really Thank wish. You for I, let me, give me the platform to, to, to express how wonderful this man was. Oh, I, I just say from the bottom of my heart, I wish I missed, I'd met him. He sounds like an absolute legend, the sort of trainer that would have had many a story to tell yeah. and many a contact to meet. Yeah, he would have he would have kicked you out of the gym first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that kind of trainer. I know that kind of trainer. You know what I, mean? I know that kind of trainer. They love you, but they got a funny way of showing it. Yeah, they have. They have different ways. I Fancy think I'll. Him, man. Well, okay. well, just let me just leave a picture of Tony before we finish. Yeah, yeah, that's the man. Tony and, Burns. And, and, and <laughs> <laughs> I always used to say that to him. <laughs> You're one ugly coach, you are. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and say, fuck up, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it right there. Take care. Take care. Take care.